Now then guys, welcome to Stras Gaming, I'm Luke. Welcome to my Chelsea Safe on Football Manager 2020. Here we are, I can't remember the last time we played, I can't remember the last time we recorded. It was only a couple of days ago, but I can't remember the games that we played. So we're just going to jump straight into it. We do have Burnley and Porto today in the first round Champions League knockout, but we're just going to jump straight into it. So here we are. Um, we're going to start off by, let's just have a sip of rum. It's fine. I may have had an afternoon in the pub and then recording this. So it's going to be a fun episode. Well, I think last time though, I think last time out, we it was the Wolves and Stoke game. I think it was the two games that I thought were going to easily win. And we, we drew against Wolves and we um, beat Stoke quite comfortably. We then played Everton and we drew against Everton 2-2. And that was a poor draw, to be honest with you. We beat Watford 1-0 and then we ran, managed to beat Bournemouth 1-0. Bournemouth 1-0 in the 60th minute isn't bad because Bournemouth are... Doing all right in the league. If we go into the competitions, Bournemouth were in fifth. It was a big kind of big win for us. We are still three points clear of Arsenal. We've got a game in hand as well. So I think the league is slowly kind of getting there. The FA Cup, we're still in that. We've got Manchester United. That's going to be a couple of episodes of time. Porto in the um, Champions League. In the Champions League, we've not won yet. And I really want to try and win it. This is the last season I'm doing with Chelsea. Just disclose that. This is the last season I'm doing with Chelsea. I know it's getting all the views and how it's not, but this is going to be, after this season, it's ended. Done. Five years. That's all I was doing. Chelsea's done. Harrogate is going to be the way forward. But enough said. Uh, so we're going to jump straight into the Burnley game. And this is how we're going to be rocking against Burnley. We're going to play a full strength team in the league. No, we're not. We're going to start. No, we're not. We're going to start Abraham. He's still full strength. Abraham's going to start. We're going to have... Domaruma in goal, James DeLitt, Christensen and Chilwell, Mason Mount, Antonio, Chiesa, Beek and Sterling and Abraham up top. That's what we're doing because I can't be asked to look for the team and change it. That's why you don't have an afternoon beer, Luke. But still, fun and games. We'll win this. We will win this. Right, team talk is done. Majority of people are happy. Let's just get into this game and just see how we go. I think 5 nilers. It's not going to be 5 nil, is it? Be, it'd be good if it was 5-0, but I don't think it will be. I think we'll win comfortably. Just not as comfy. Burnley also, by the way, are kind of fighting relegation. So this should be an easy game for us. Chiesa, what are you doing? Should have scored. Sterling? Oh, what is going on? Sterling should have scored. It sh we should have had an early goal. We really should. This is going to be one of these games. This is going to be football manager at, his, at the key. Like It's going to be a game that we're going to dominate, but Burnley are going to win because they're in sort of... Some sort of weird relegation limbo. They are, what, three points clear? As I was saying, Burnley are going to be the ones that are going to win this game. And we've, we're we going to dominate it. We really are going to dominate this game. But drink water, drink water still at Burnley. What's going on here? Well, not still at Burnley, but drink water's at Burnley. Cross comes in. If it was drink water that scored, I would have been really pissed off. But nine minutes into this game and we're 1-0 down after we've, we should have scored. I'm going to demand more early on. Early on, I'm going to demand more. We should not be behind. Also, I've realised this is our game in hand. I've gone attacking, by the way. I have to. This is our game in hand. Everyone else has already actually played. We played the, the later kickoff. So, this is a game we, we need to win. And, well, as we've been dominant, we've been absolutely shocking. So, I've demanded more. I've got aggressive. I've shouted at them. Go out there and score a goal. And when Sterling's not having a good game, Beek's not having a good game, do you know what? I'm going to make some changes now. Screw it. I'm angry at the team. We're going to bring on Mount. Mount, not bring on Mount. But Mount's going to go there. Kante's going to come on. There we go. We've made a change early on, but that's what we're going to do. Sterling's not going to go. In fact, Sterling is going to be the next person that's going to come off. It's not even the 60th minute mark, and I'm bringing, bringing off Sterling, bringing on Aziz. As a winger on support, we've got this. We can do this. Demanding more as this free kick comes in. Chiesa picks it up. Hopefully the cross comes in. Aziz is there with a head. With a head. With a header. And it... Oh, look, oh my God. Let's just pause for a second. 55% possession. But 15 shots. To Burnley's one shot. One on target. They've scored one. We've not scored any. Let's just bring on Hanlan. No. Hang on. That's, that's not what we want to do. Hanlan wants to come on. Right, we've made all our subs. 70th minute. We've won one goal down. We're away from home. What is going on with this team? I'm going to go very attacking as well. Burnley have had one shot. This is like, this is true FM. 
in its in its entirety, it really is. They're going to have another chance and score. No, okay, no, no. Okay, we're going to count. No, we're really not going to do anything. And if if we lose, it's just ridiculous. What we're going to lose, it's fine. We're still three points clear in the league. A draw right now. Why am I wanting a draw? I don't want a draw. A draw is probably what we're going to get. Here we go. They're, they're going to get a red card now. And this always happens when I play recently. The opposition will get a red card very, very late on, like the 89th minute. And it, we can't capitalise on that. We've gone very attacking. And we've lost, ladies and gentlemen. We have lost. Against Burnley, who are in a relegation battle. We had 21 shots. Nine, on, nine of these on target. Nine shots on target, but yet their goalkeeper got a 6.9 rating. Domaruma only got a 6.8 and he only had to save three. What's... Let's get into the blooming Champions League game. Right, so this is how we're going to rock. It's the same team, but there's a couple of changes. That makes no sense. It's the same team, but a couple of changes. No, I've made a couple of changes. Kante's come in and Mount's come in. Uh, Beek's gone to the bench. Abraham's come onto the bench as well, actually, because Hanlan's off. And Beek is off. There we go. We're just going to jump straight in. We've got Porto in the Champions League. We're just getting into it. These episodes are going to come fast and quick. That's the rum talking. Why? Why drink and then try and record an episode of Football Manager right now? It's because I don't have time anymore to do this. So I'm mixing business and pleasure. And good old team talk. We're gonna go we're gonna win this. Because we need to. And we're gonna win the Champions League this season. Porto are not gonna knock us out. Porto knock us out. I'm gonna be peed off. My right, first highlight. It's coming to a Sterling. He needs a big game, Sterling does, because it's not been great this season. And I can understand why Man City got rid. Because he's not set the world on fire here. And he should be in his prime. Chiesa picks the ball up. Chiesa with his shot. Not even on target. And that's the other thing. Chiesa. Again, he winds me up. He should be amazing. But he's not. Star rating. Um, abilities. It's meant to be good. I've not had a good game out of him yet. Not had a good game. The only time I've made him might be good is when I did a Fiorentina save last season when we won season wonder saves. And he did all right. He scored a few goals, but that's Fiorentina in the Italy League. And it was the by far the best player at the club. At the minute, this Chelsea team, Hanlan, yet yeah, is scoring goals for fun this season. Uh, you've got Mason Mount, the best midfielder, English midfielder that's, that's around. And then you look at the rest of the team. Reese James, he's good. Probably still shouldn't be playing. Delit, Christensen, um, Sterling, again, should be in his prime. Again, having another bad game. We've got Aziz, who's a youngster. Shouldn't be anywhere near the first team, but I'm giving him chances because I believe in him. He scored a good... I think, in fact, he scored a hat-trick this season in the... Um, Sterling goes close, but the... Uh, goes out for a corner. He scored a hat-trick, Aziz, in the Carabao Cup, which we eventually got knocked out of. I thought we were going to win a penalty there, but we didn't. It goes out for a throw-in to us, hopefully. You'd like to think so. We're not going to see it. But Kante picks the ball up deep in our half. Domaruma picks the ball up. Again, Domaruma, another signing. I'm not particularly happy with. I thought he was going to be better. His distribution hasn't been great as well. Like, his long distribution has been bad. Which results in fecking goals. Fabio Silva scored. In fact, Fabio Silva, from this angle and this picture, looks a little, a little bit like Trocatista. Go check his channel out. I'm sure he does look a little bit like him. Let's skip the highlight. All right, half time. I'm not happy. I can't remember the last episode I recorded where we lost back to back. And this could happen today. It could happen. Sterling, Kayser, in fact, I'm going to make changes. Pulicic is going to come on. Screw it. Pulicic and Aziz. Sterling, not. Um, Sterling has just been shocking this season. If we get knocked out of the Champions League. By Porto. And we got knocked out of the Champions League quite early last season, if we remember. Just this Chelsea team, we may retain the league. But, yeah, it's it's just annoying. We, we, I don't think... Hanlan as well. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. We've just... Comp, cup competitions has not been great for us. We won the FA Cup in the first season. We've not won any other cup since. We've won 
the Premier League once and we're defending it in. We still can win the Premier League this season. We're three points clear and an away goal right now would be awesome. It's just not going to happen. So we have back-to-back -back losses, ladies and gentlemen. We have not had this for a long time with this Chelsea save. And just two 1-0 losses. We've not taken our chances. We're still top of the league. We've got we're not a mountain to climb because we are at home in the uh, other leg. Chil uh, Chilwell's bloody not happy with himself. He's, he's a bit tired, bless him, Chilwell is. So schedule, what we're going to do next, and what we're going to do next is, I don't have a frigging clue, is I might do Manchester United by themselves and just do an FA Cup fifth round just by himself against Manchester United. And then we've got Porto and Arsenal, which Arsenal are second. That Arsenal game is a really, really big game. Uh, Porto is, again, a big game. So I think I'm going to do that. And then we've got Man City in fourth. And I'm just going to go back to see when we last lost two games in a row. We haven't done it this season. If we go back to last season. Oh, here we go. We had a bit last season, the back end of last season in April. And it was the FA Cup semi-final what we lost on eight in extra time. Everton we drew. In fact, no, that's not even back-to-back -back losses. We we got a point against Everton there. So, again, no back-to-back -back losses. Right, okay. So, it's going to be in our third season. Uh, loss against Liverpool. Here we go. This season we did back-to-back -back losses. Carabao Cup and West Ham. Uh, so, yeah, it goes back to the 2021 season where we... When was the last... That's when the last time we... Back-to-back -back losses, not good. Um, Performance-wise, not great this episode. Performance-wise with me, not great. I had a beer. In general, not a great episode. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, all that sort of shenanigans. And I love you all. I'll catch you in a bit. See you later. Bye.